Last week, National Honor Society hosted a card making event for the faculty here at Auburn High School to say a big thank you for all you've done for us in this challenging year. So expect a card from your NHS team here at Auburn and a big thank you for the NHS for making this happen. What's up, Auburn Knights? Uh, Mr. Pemberton here. I want to talk to you guys about our new online ticketing platform, in which we'll be using to purchase tickets to all our home events. This includes football, boys soccer, girls volleyball uh, that are currently going on, and then we'll also use this for our summer sports that'll be starting later, track, boys volleyball, and things like that. So the easiest way to do this is to download the Ticket Spigot app. If you go into your app store, Google Play, and you just go in there and it'll be an orange icon with a T on it. Go ahead and download that app, create an account, and then you'll search for Rockford Auburn High School. Once you get to that page, it'll have all the events that are on sale. And then you'll just go ahead and go right in there, purchase your tickets for the event, and then they'll be digitally sent to your account on your app. Now, if you don't have a smartphone that you'll be able to bring with you to the night of the event, you just go right to the website that's going to be on the screen, spicket.events backslash Rockford Auburn, and it's the same process. You know, if you have an account created already, you can just go ahead and log right back in, buy your tickets, and then you can print them out on a piece of paper. Just like going to a professional sporting event, you go to the Cubs game and you have an e-ticket, you just print it out and it has a barcode on it, and then you bring it to the game. So on the night of the game when you show up, you're going to bring you either your smartphone on your app with your tickets that you've already purchased, or you'll bring that piece of paper that you printed out. And at the, at the gate, the ticket attendant will scan that, they'll read the QR code, and you'll be granted access. Now the key here is this is you don't want to share your QR code with anybody else because it's only good once. So if you happen to leave it somewhere and someone picks it up, but you just print out another copy, if someone uses it before you, you'll be denied access at the gate. So you definitely want to keep track of your tickets if you print them out and you don't want to leave them anywhere. This will be the process for every home sporting event going forward here. There will be no cash sales at the gate, so make sure that you get your tickets early because there are capacity limits right now due to COVID. For football games, there is a pre-sale opportunity. There's a, from Monday to Wednesday, there will be a special code that will be provided in our social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. For boys soccer, you can buy your tickets now for every event. They are currently open. And then girls volleyball um, is going to be limited, very limited. It'll probably be only open to families right now. Um, we did just get some new guidance, it looks like, in the, in, actually in the last couple minutes as I was standing here doing this interview, uh, that we may be able to increase our capacity indoors. So there may be some additional tickets available for the girls volleyball games this spring. Um, but once again, you'll use the same process. It'll all be right there on the Ticket Spicket website and the Ticket Spicket app. Thanks, everybody, for listening. If you've got any questions, you guys all know my office is down in the field house. Feel free to stop by and ask. Otherwise, we hope to see you at the game. Okay. Hi, I'm Jawaria. And I'm Isabella. And we're from the Superintendent's Advisory Council. And we're hosting the district-wide talent show this year. Showcase your talent in a short video for a chance to win up to a $250 prize. The top 10 to 15 performances will be in the talent show on April 30th, where winners will be announced. Make sure to submit your videos by March 24th at midnight. Which is over spring break. We want to see Auburn's talent, so please send us your videos. The link for the form will be in the description. And we look forward to seeing all of your wonderful talents. <laughs> <laughs>